Welcome to Expert SEM Knowledge Sharing Session. In this session, we are going to see a term EBITDA, Earning Before Interest, Taxes, Depreciation and Amortization. EBIT or EBITDA or Earning Before Interest, Taxes, Depreciation and Amortization is a measure of a company's overall financial performance and used as an alternative to net income in some circumstances. EBITDA, however, can be misleading because is it does not reflect the cost of capital investments like property, plants and equipment. This metric also excludes expenses associated with the debt by adding back interest expense and taxes to the earning. Nonetheless, it is more precise measure of corporate performance since it is able to show earning before the influence of accounting and financial deductions. Simply put, EBITDA is a measure of profitability. While there is no legal requirement for companies to disclose their EBITDA according to US generally accepted accounting principle GAAP, it can be worked out and reported using the information found in the company's financial statements. The earnings, tax and in interest figures are found on the income statement while the depreciation and amortization figures are normally found in the notes to operating profit or on the cash flow statement. The usual shortcut to calculating EBITDA is to start with the operating profit, also called earning before interest and tax, then add back depreciation and amortization. EBITDA is calculated in a straightforward manner with the information that is easily found on the company's income statement as well as balance sheet. There are two formulas used to calculate EBITDA, one that uses operating income and the other net income. The two EBITDA calculations are EBITDA equal to net the income plus tax plus interest plus expense plus amortization plus EBITDA. Thanks for watching. Bye.